yes children we saw about modern periodic table okay and then we learnt how to find out the group number period number etc and now we will see what are the trends in properties or characteristics down the group and across the period so first we will see down the group group means what group means vertical columns period means horizontal rows this you know it already okay now let us see what are the properties now let us take the first group lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium these are the elements present in the first group and their atomic numbers are 3 11 19 37 you need not have to know all these things you first you first three you should know clearly and what is the electronic configuration for three atomic number 2 1 for 11 it is 2 8 1 then for 19 you will write it as 2 8 8 1 okay so you need to know only till this i have just put one more it is not necessary for you you need not have to worry same way second group you have beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium 4 12 20 so till 20 you have already studied okay so what is the configuration 2 2 2 8 then 2 8 8 so this is how you write the configuration same way i have taken another example oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium atomic number is 8 16 this is what you have learned so 2 6 2 8 you write same way halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine you have atomic number 9 17 35 like that and the configurations are 2 7 2 8 7 now in all the four whatever i have shown what do you see in the first group the number of electrons present in the valence shell is the same now what is the valence shell what valence shell is nothing but outermost shell <coughs> for lithium second shell is the outermost shell for sodium third shell is the outermost shell for potassium fourth shell is the outermost shell so if you write it as k l m n what do you find in the case of lithium l shell is the valence shell in the case of sodium m shell is the valence shell in the case of potassium n shell is a valence shell so this you have studied in ninth class also you know it very well right now what do you find this is the valence electron i told you now supposing if you consider say this is the nucleus okay this is the nucleus manlo now the electron present in the valence shell is at this distance then the electron of sodium valence electron of sodium is at this distance then the valence electron of potassium is at this distance right same way in the case of beryllium you have two valence electrons in all the elements present down the group all of them are having two valence electrons electrons in the valence shell valence shell is nothing but outermost shell that is two same way in the case of oxygen sulfur selenium you find six electrons are there in the valence shell k shell l shell m shell same way k shell l shell m you are again k l m n right so here seven valence electrons are there in the case of fluorine and chlorine bromine will also have seven iodine will also have seven that complexity of electronic configuration is not necessary for you it's enough if you know till this till 20 atomic number you are supposed to know okay so what do you find down the group the valence electrons are same is it not 2 2 2 6 6 7 7 so you find in every case in every group the number of electrons present in the valence shell they are same okay now what can you say about the valence shell lithium is having only two shells sodium is having three shells potassium is having four shells same way beryllium is having two magnesium is having three calcium is having four right so what you find you find when you go down the group the valence shell is increasing by one unit isme do shell hi tha fir sodium mein aake third shell add hua 
पोटाशियम में जाके फोर्थ शेल ऐड हुआ सेम वे बेरिलियम में दो शेल मैग्नीशियम में जाके थर्ड शेल ऐड हुआ कैल्शियम में फोर्थ शेल ऐड हुआ सो डाउन द ग्रुप व्हाट यू फाइंड मैन यू गो डाउन द ग्रुप वन बाय वन यू विल फाइंड वन बैलेंस शेल आई मीन वन शेल इज एडेड इज नॉट के एल देन दिस इज हैविंग एम एडेड दिस इज हैविंग एंथ शेल एडेड सेम वे हियर ऑल्सो इज नॉट बट देन बैलेंस शेल इज गेटिंग एडेड वन वन यूनिट इट इज गेटिंग एडेड but the valence electrons remain the same right so this is the basic thing that you have to understand when you talk about the elements present in a group group means vertical column okay now let us see the trends what are the trends down the group electronic configuration is remaining same how with respect to number of electrons present in the valence shell this you saw it is it not number of electrons present in the valence shell that is remaining the same valence shell is changing isme l shell last hai isme m last hai isme n last theek hai valence shell change ho raha hai par number of electrons present in the valence shell wo change nahi ho raha theek hai so valence electrons remain the same okay so when valence electrons remain the same then valency will also remain the same right what is valency combining capacity is called valency and valency can also be given as the number of electrons lost or gained now all these elements they will lose one electron from their valence shell so lithium sodium potassium they all have valency 1 then beryllium magnesium calcium they all tend to lose two electrons so their valency is 2 same way oxygen sulfur selenium they have six valence electrons now in this case they need to gain two electrons to make it eight here they lose one electron to get the octet configuration is it not but in the case of oxygen and fluorine chlorine and all they need to gain one electron in order to get the octet configuration octet means what eight electronic configuration okay octa means eight so six ko aart banane ke liye kitne electrons chahiye do electron ki zarurat hai isko aart banane ke liye kitni chahiye do electron ki zarurat hai to jitna electron gain karega wo valency hai yahan pe jitna electron lose karega wohi valency hai same way yahan pe seven valence electrons hai now this needs to take one electron to make it eight this needs to take one electron to make it eight so both the elements they have a valency one jitna electron gain karega ya lose karega that is its valency so valency can be given as the number of electrons lost or gained in order to attain octet configuration that is called as valency now let us see the atomic size now i have shown a simple diagrammatic figure jaise ye lithium atom hai lithium ka configuration hai 2 1 so this is your first shell and this is the second shell now second shell is having one electron that alone i have denoted so what is the distance of the valence electron from its nucleus kitna sa distance hai theek hai now come to sodium sodium is having 2 8 1 that is valence shell is the third shell so i put first shell second shell third shell third shell mein ek electron hai now look at the distance of this electron from the nucleus ye hai to isse ye zyada hai because isme electron second shell mein hai isme electron third shell mein hai now go to the next one potassium is having 2881 that is the valence electron is there in the fourth shell so this is your first shell second shell third shell fourth shell so electron valence electron jo hai wo fourth shell mein present hai usko nucleus center of the nucleus se maine join kiya so this is the distance of the valence electron from its nucleus ab aapko clearly dikh raha hai ये सबसे छोटा है 
ये बड़ा है और ये और बड़ा है ठीक है तो जो छोटा है वो न्यूक्लियस की अट्रैक्शन उसको ज़्यादा मिलेगा ये थोड़ा सा दूर है तो इसको इससे न्यूक्लियस से कम अट्रैक्शन मिलेगा और ये सबसे ज़्यादा दूर है तो जितना ज़्यादा दूर है उतना ही न्यूक्लियस से कम अट्रैक्शन मिलेगा मतलब ये न्यूक्लियस इस इलेक्ट्रॉन को बहुत टाइटली होल्ड नहीं कर पाएगा ये इससे बेटर होल्ड करेगा और ये सबसे बढ़िया होल्ड करेगा ठीक है जितना छोटा साइज है उतना ही इलेक्ट्रॉन को न्यूक्लियर अट्रैक्शन ज़्यादा मिलेगी और जितना साइज बड़ा है उतना ही उसकी बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन को न्यूक्लियर अट्रैक्शन कम मिलेगी ठीक है तो इसको अट्रैक्शन अगर ज़्यादा मिल रहा है तो दे आर स्ट्रांगली अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स द न्यूक्लियस द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन द बैलेंस शेल दे आर अट्रैक्टेड स्ट्रांगली बाय द न्यूक्लियस दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज अट्रैक्टेड स्ट्रांगली बाय द न्यूक्लियस दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज अट्रैक्टेड लेस स्ट्रांगली बाय इट्स न्यूक्लियस दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज अट्रैक्टेड टू द लीस्ट एक्सटेंट बाय इट्स न्यूक्लियस ठीक है तो जिसकी अट्रैक्शन सबसे कम है उसको यहाँ से उठाना आसान है जो न्यूक्लियस की होल्ड में है उसको उठाना मुश्किल है जो न्यूक्लियस की अट्रैक्शन से जिसमें न्यूक्लियर अट्रैक्शन कम है उस इलेक्ट्रॉन को उठाना सबसे आसान है तो इसको उठाना बहुत मुश्किल है इसको थोड़ा सा बेटर है ये और ये सबसे इजी है ठीक है तो ये एटम दैट इज पोटेशियम विल लूज इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन रेडिली सोडियम विल लूज इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ सम डिफिकल्टी एंड लिथियम विल लूज इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी इसको लूज करना सबसे मुश्किल है इसको लूज करना सबसे आसान है ठीक है